Workers in Eric Morrow's strawberry fields near Ponchatoula were busy filling flats of strawberries on a warm and dry day, a rarity this spring. This year's growing season has been hampered by both frigid temperatures and torrential downpours. Kind of getting off to a little bit later start than we wish to do, but um, I think we're going to come out okay. We got um, March and April, the traditional strawberry season, so we're going to have a traditional strawberry crop. Louisiana growers depend on a premium price early in the season before strawberries from California and Florida begin hitting the market. This year's weather was not conducive for an early season crop. They've been covered up more than they've been uncovered this year. So you don't get the light penetration, you don't get the drying effect of the sun. The crop just didn't advance quite as quickly as you'd expect. Sharp says it takes at least 21 days from when a strawberry flowers to developing into a juicy red piece of fruit. Acreage across southeast Louisiana has seen a slight decline, but Morrow believes Louisiana strawberries will be a common sight in stores soon. I think everybody's kind of cutting back and not planting as quite as many berries as they have been in the past. Um, they'll be a little bit short, but, you know, there'll be good berries out there. There'll be plenty of berries for the traditional season. If favorable weather conditions occur, consumers can expect to have fresh Louisiana strawberries through at least the middle of May. For the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.